could ask yourself a question. Do I feel lucky? I'm not sure if I was feeling lucky, but I had luck on my side when I turned this problem up um, relatively quickly because it looks a little more complicated or it seemed a little more complicated at the time than what it turned out to be. But before we get started, I want to shout out Richard Ostrowski. Thanks for commenting. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce your name correctly. Is States Records. Um, seen your name pop up in the comments several times. Thank you. Uh, Daniel Diagnostics and any new subscribers to the channel. I certainly appreciate it. The comments help I'm trying to get this thing off the ground and uh, every little bit helps. So what I have here, 2016 Nissan Rogue. It's a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated engine. I got to call to look at it for a no start. They said occasionally it tries to start and pops and carries on back to the intake and then ultimately doesn't start. So scan of it, no codes. I decided to go ahead, um, hook up the cam and crank. So I got my crank sensor here, got my cam sensor here. This is the intake. So I'm gonna look at inputs. Anytime I think of a car backfiring or popping back, I, I kind of think timing. So I went on and took number one plug out um, and it was f heavily fuel fouled. So um, instead of scoping an injector, I decided to go ahead and scope the uh, ignition command to number one coil. So what I did was I got number one coil out of the hole I've got a spark checker in it and I've got it back probed on the command wire from the ECU so I can see if it's getting command and or I can see if it's getting spark. I've got the WPS in the cylinder. So this capture, uh, this video is going to have the fix to this car and also a couple of tips looking at WPS and um, a little tip I learned a long time ago about looking at ignition command. So first off, I've got a compression peak, 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 but I've only got command on this one, not there, not there. I got command on this one, not there, not there, and command on this one. So this right here is telling me input issue. Well, I've looked at lots and lots and lots of cam and crank correlations with Nissans, and the cam correlation is spot on. So what is going on here? I've got decent inputs, but I don't have command on every uh, fire cycle or every time it fires, it doesn't, it, it's not commanding it. And I'm getting gobs of fuel in the cylinder. So, and I noticed on my spark checker that I'm not getting any spark. I have command to spark but no spark. So here's the first tip. Zoom in on the IC signal. We zoom in and right off the bat, if we lay a line across it, that IC signal is perfectly flat. That tells me there's no current flowing through that coil. And you'll see in the after I'll show. Also, the on time for this dude is over 13 milliseconds. That computer is really trying to fire that coil, but it's just not happening. So right now I have no coil, I have no current flowing through my coil. I have command occasionally, but what I've noticed is when I have command, it seems to me commanding it in the right spot, right around top dead center. The falling edge is where the spark plug would fire. Now, tip number two, uh, the last two videos I've been talking a lot about pressure and timing with 
looking at compression waveforms. Well, here's an example of one with leaning towers and compression leak. The cylinders have been washed down on this thing. So I don't trust the peak for referencing top dead center. And what I mean by leaning towers, if you just draw a line right in the middle, you see I have more room on this side and then over here. So the tower's leaning. Uh, top dead center is going to be a little bit late. But looking at the command, so when the computer is in control, it seems to be in full control, but it's not doing anything here. I've got good cam and crank correlation, no spark and fuel wash cylinders. So my strategy is I'm going to the fuse box or the IPDM and I'm going to put a, a, a fuse loop and an amp clamp around and I want to see all the coil currents or I want to see the coil currents that may or may not be there. Well, this is where the lucky part comes in. When I pulled the IPDM out, I found gobs and gobs of corrosion at the main fuse that supplies current to the coils. So I'm going to go ahead and put a picture of that and then a picture of the wiring diagram and kind of go over what I think was going on with this car. So hang on while I get that picture up. So at the time I was messing with this car, I hadn't actually looked at a diagram yet. <clears throat> I just knew that there was a fuse in there that controlled all the coils. So um, I was going for that. And of course, you've seen in the pictures, all the grime and slime and all the nastiness. Um, this is what I think what was happening. All right, this 35 here, this is the fuse that... Uh, controls the coils sorry it's not in the picture but if you follow this leg and this red all the way over it's kind of off over here but it, it goes to all four coils. it's a common power but what i didn't know until i looked at the diagram is this fuse also feeds the ecu um fuse 121 is power to the computer um, I looked up fuse 121. It didn't give me anything other than power to the computer. Uh, it also feeds the purge control valve. So what I think what was happening with this is during key on, no cranking, I'm not really putting a load on the circuit. Um, the coils aren't trying to fire. So I'm thinking that the computer had the power it needed to be alive and, and 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 recognize the scan tool i believe what's happening with this dude is when i'm cranking it of course your overall system voltage is down but i'm also needing you know seven eight amps per coil to you know to fire the coils and i think because of the corrosion here when I need all that current for the coils, I'm thinking I lost power to the control unit on this leg, um, which is why I believe the control unit was making bad decisions. And, and you remember in the capture how it was firing and then not firing, not firing, and then firing, and then not firing, not firing, and firing. I'm thinking as 66 going to the coils is pulling the current the corrosion was acting like an extra load and I was either losing total voltage here or only getting three volts or four volts. I don't know. I never checked it uh, in the heat of battle once I found that corrosion. I um, I cleaned it out. I'm going to put up an after capture. It's what I did 
um, just to prove that this would fix the car is I got in here and I cleaned all that that crap out of there the best I could uh, you know took a little brass brush and, and shined everything up to make a better connection I stuck my fuse buddy in there and it was loose um, but I was able to get the car to start and run and idle and it seemed normal the capture is not that great I believe I had I mean there's other things on this circuit um, but I also believe you know it was just a, a poor fit ultimately the car got a new IPDM and an oil change um, and then it was uh, reported back to me it was fixed and ran fine so um, I got lucky in finding this right off the bat um, it was nice to see that but if I would have had a problem, you know, not so easily seen, uh, something in the harness maybe, or, you know, a splice somewhere, you may have gotten tripped on that. Um, you would have definitely had to have loaded this circuit. If you would have simply unplug this and check or unplug the coils and check for 12 volts, basically looking at open source voltage, I believe you'd have had 12 volts. So, You'd have to load this circuit, whether you use a bulb, a low, low pro leads, or, you know, maybe back probe it cranking. Um, so I think this could have gotten a little trickier uh, than what it did. Like I said, the luck is it was very easy to see. I got the car fixed. Um, I did an after capture with it temporarily fixed, but it was enough to tell me that um, I could move on and uh, check the next car but yeah I thought it was kind of neat uh, pretty cool little deal there uh, I believe our resistance here was was uh, blinding the computer and maybe it was setting codes and then when it lost this power it erased or maybe the ECU reset not sure I'm not exactly sure what that leg powered up but either way it needed voltage it wasn't getting it it made some bad decisions ultimately we got her fixed so let me throw that after capture up and um, talk about that little tip with the current flowing through the IC and then um, we'll wrap this dude right on up here's a capture I did um, after I temporarily fixed the car it's running um, basically I still have my uh, coil I have the coil buddy in the fuse after I cleaned it I still have cam and crank and I still have the um, IC command sync and now what we see is we have a command a coil current a coil current a coil current a coil current and then a command so all four cylinders are firing um, the cam and crank is still in the same spot um, I knew I knew it wasn't out of sync uh, on the first capture after I saw it um, a lot of noise in here like I said there's a lot of stuff going on on that fuse there may be some stuff that wasn't even in the diagram uh, plus it, it wasn't the greatest fit but uh, here's the here's the other side of that little tip I was saying um, if you look at ignition command remember this is a little 5 volt square wave and this is right at the coil but um, let me get a better zoom than that uh, remember the other one was flat across when I said no current was flowing well if you look at this one now it's subtle uh, let's see if we can get a better zoom but you see where it kind of starts you know somewhere in here with this roughness but ends up here that is the uh, that's the current flowing through the transistor it, it shows on that leg um, it's just a, a little tip there's a better zoom right there um, but it's enough to let you know that there is current flowing now is it all it needs um, may or may not be but if it's flat across it's either open or like this case the fuse was messed up and current physically couldn't flow through it and also uh, the on time um, is way less um, this dude is down near four and a half milliseconds I think it was uh, what was it way up 13 14 milliseconds uh, when it was trying to fire but couldn't but now it is firing um, so that's kind of a neat little tip 
uh, you can see the voltage drop as current flows. Um, you can kind of see it if you ever scope injectors um, where, where the ECU grounds the bottom of the injector before the big spike. You can kind of, you'll see the voltage kind of go up, and that kind of lets you know that current went through the coil. Um, it's it's just a little a little side effect of current flowing. But anyways, this was an interesting little capture here, a uh, little case study. I think it could have taken a lot longer if I if it wasn't so obviously found. But um, better be lucky than good sometimes. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, try to keep these videos coming. Have a good one.